Hi there, my name's Vince from MyMateVince.com and in this video today I'm going to show you how you can make your old equipment compatible with newer equipment. So in this instance I'm using a very old monitor and this monitor does not have any HDMI inputs yet I've got an Xbox One S and a PlayStation Slim and a tablet connected to the monitor and these all use HDMI as their output. So you might have an old monitor lying around or you might have a flat screen TV that's been on the wall for the past 12 years and it might not have any HDMI inputs but you still might be happy with that TV. Now as long as it has VGA inputs such as this one here which the old monitors are going to have and most old TVs that are kind of flat screen TVs will have. So what you need to do is I'm going to quickly show you this setup working, then I'm going to show you the parts that you need. So at the moment, as you can see here, I've got the PlayStation 4 connected to it. Yeah, and it works absolutely fine. It is still in HD. It's only 720p because that's all my monitor will allow. But chances are, if your TV is old enough that it hasn't got any HDMI inputs, then it's going to be working on 720p anyway. But it's still a high definition image. Okay, so that's that one there. Now, if I go to the switch down here and change the input, you will then see that I've got my Xbox working here as well. And again, the image is nice. Not as good as a 1080p image, but still good. And if I go to the switch again, and change it, you will then see that I've got my huddle connected up here. This is an old tablet. Yeah, and on this monitor there's no HDMI inputs. All there is is the power supply and also one VGA input. So let me show you what you need. You can do all this yourself for around about 10 UK pounds. So it's not a lot of money and it might help you out. Right, so let me show you what you actually need in the setup. So first of all, you're going to need obviously your monitor or your flat screen TV. You're going to also need speakers if you're using the monitor. Obviously the speakers will already be built into your flat screen TV. You're going to have to get yourself a VGA to HDMI converter. Now these little converters here, this was only 4 99 so just under 5 UK pounds. And then what you're going to do is, because this will only allow one input, what you're then going to have to do is, you're going to have to get yourself a HDMI switch like this one. Now with this one, it's got five inputs to one output. So on the output, I've got the output as the VGA. So I can have five HDMI inputs into here, and they will all output via here and then the digital signal will got converted to analog and then the analog signal will travel down the VGA cable which your TV and monitor will be able to decode and read fine. So on this HDMI switch here it's really simple to use all you need to do is plug in the inputs and plug in your output and because I'm using things like the PlayStation 4 the Xbox will work fine and the uh, tablet will work fine but the PlayStation 4 doesn't push out a lot of power over its HDMI. So what you're gonna to have to do is, you're gonna to have to plug in a little power supply. So as you can see here, this switch here takes a DC five volts, and this little adapter here, I've plugged into a normal USB charger, into this one here. So you've probably got numerous USB chargers lying around the place already, if you've got mobile cell phones so you just need to plug that one in there to power it and then you can plug in five pieces of equipment into here so you're kind of bringing your monitor or TV into the modern age although the picture is not going to be as good as if you bought a modern TV it's still pretty good you know it's still high definition and that's probably what you're used to if you're using that flat screen TV that you've been using for the past 10 or so years one other thing you will have to play around with is you might have to play around with the settings. So for example, this monitor here is only 720p and chances are your flat screen will only be 720p as well. And if I was to go to the tablet down here, then you will have to change the settings just so it outputs 
720p rather than 1080p. So if I go to here and go to HDMI and go to HDMI resolution, by default it was up here at 1080p at 60 hertz. But then if I was to go to my HDMI switch and turn it to that one, you can see there it will say out of range. So what I have to do is I have to go back here and I'll just have to change it down to 720. So if you have a look there, can you see, oops, you can see it says now 10, 1280 by 720. So that's the important one there, 720p. And now if you look there, it's no longer out of range. Yeah, your Xbox and PlayStation should pick it up automatically. But if not, there are settings. You'll be able to play around with these settings yourself. But if I was to go to, for example, the PlayStation, and if I was to go up and across to settings, and then you can go down to sound and screen and you have video output settings and here it's set to automatic so it should just pick it up but again if not you can change it to 480 or 720 again my monitor will not support 1080 but you can put it manually to 720 or 480 so you may have to play around with the settings depending on what equipment you're using but uh, yeah Hopefully you found that video useful and hopefully it's helped you out and it might make you get a few more years out of that monitor or TV screen. Give it a thumbs up if you liked it and please subscribe for more how-to videos. Take care. Bye now.